Hey there, www.andrewmartinmusic.com. Um, this is a riff vlog on um, Adam Green's uh, debate with someone called Zen Shapiro. Um, I'm out in farm country, Green Acres. I'm on Green Acres and the manure is ripe. Uh, well, maybe it's a good metaphor for this video. Um, so a couple of points I want to make. Um, the distinction between the God of revealed religion, which is Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and the God of the philosophers, which is basically um, a perception of God or, you know, theorizing about God that came out of the Western philosophical tradition and they are not the same thing and this was continually conflated uh, people like David Lane Craig make this conflation all the time Shapiro was making it let's be clear here Judaism is a revealed religion and that all comes with supernaturalism you can't you can't you know dissect the two Christianity is a revealed religion and it comes with all kinds of supernatural claims. Islam is a revealed religion and it comes with all kinds of supernatural claims. Now the problem is, is that whoever revealed all these three religions, whoever revealed the three religions contradicted themselves every single time. Um, one of Shapiro's main arguments, well, you know, God wasn't able to um, impart the idea of a trinity to the Jews. This is so ridiculous. Uh, one of the primary foundations of religious thought on the planet came out of Egypt, um, and their, the foundational metaphysics was, uh, you know, triads. You know, this is uh, ended up being the Enneagram, but you know, you have uh, this. The point is, is this idea of a Trinity was not some unfathomable idea in those days. <clears throat> so, there's just a complete failure by Jehovah to um, impart uh, the Trinity concept to the Hebrews at that time. Uh, it's so it's a ridiculous claim to say. Um, well, the revelation came with Jesus Christ of the Trinity. You know, nobody in their right mind, nobody who's using reason and logic should buy that claim. There's no reason why uh, Moses uh, couldn't have understood the Trinity. Um, and so, flush that one down the manure barn tube. Um, this, then, of course, you know, the, the angel Gabriel reveals uh, the truth to Muhammad, you know, uh, somebody who couldn't write and who was pretty low on the on the caste system there, um, and he con he contradicts both prior revelations. So, you know, the whole thing about revealed religion is extraordinarily problematic on two fronts. Uh, they're all they all contradict each other supernatural contradiction and they don't none of them today have any demonstrable um, arguments or, or demonstration of the supernatural uh, order that is ubiquitous in all their religions so you know this is just a terrible gambit on the part of all these Christians where they because they can't demonstrate any extraordinary ability they end up just borrowing, you know, in a very dishonest way, the God of the philosophers. Um, now, so that's my primary point. The second point was with Adam Green's um, refusal to answer the question about uh, mind and consciousness. He, he was just being really stubborn and just saying brains, 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 brains. And uh, I, I can only speculate the reason he wouldn't answer is because to answer the question honestly would be to concede some kinds of to concede some kind of transcendental realm 
uh, which is mine, right? You know, now I don't know what his metaphysics is, and it isn't metaphysics if he's a materialist in the school of Dan Dennett, you know, that um, consciousness is an epiphenomenon. Uh, that's fine. I mean, that, if he wants to believe that, um, go right ahead. But um, what these, what that school is saying is, you know, they're basically denying immaterialism with mat immaterialism. So they, they have a performative contradiction there, and um, that's not kosher either, right? You know, like deal with the aspect of mind. What is mind? What is consciousness? You know, why do we know, just without any experience, that all bachelors are unmarried, right? You know, you don't need to experience anything to know that, right? It's just a priori. Um, but Green didn't want to go there. He stubbornly just wanted to say brains, you know? So complete physicalist, materialist view. Uh, fine. Uh, I personally reject it. I, there's just too many problems with it. Um, so yeah, just so, uh, there, there are the two main points I wanted to make, but, um, I, I'm just a bit about myself. I'm a Christian Gnostic. Uh, I believe the stories of the Old Testament are taken from the pharaohs of the 18th dynasty, that Akhenaten was Moses, um, most likely, or somebody within that dynasty was, was Moses. Uh, Joseph was Yuya. Um, if you look at his mummy, he's clearly Semitic. And that um, down the line, the the rabbis, because they have bloodline ties to the pharaohs through that Semitic um, uh, intermingling, they they took the story and they sort of co-opted and borrowed the religion of Egypt and put and, made, and put their own spin on it. Right? You know, hint, hint, ra, ra, bye. Right? You know. Um, if you take a look at the the uh, the Temple of Solomon, um, it's the exact temple that was uh, used in Memphis, I believe. Um, so you put the two diagrams side by side. So what happened there is is um, when when Akhenaten left, uh, he went to Sinai, and eventually they took this Egyptian uh, temple and they built one in Jerusalem. But there's no evidence that there was ever a grand Solomon kingdom or, or Davidic kingdom. Uh, people like Osman and Gadala have pretty well sown the final, or put the final nail in the coffin that this is all about the 18th dynasty. And I, I agree with that. Um, the details are hard to parse out because this has all been buried. You know, it's been, this knowledge has been like totally you're anti-Semitic if you say it, right? You know, um, it's just been buried. This knowledge has been buried. They don't want anybody to know this. So, anyway, um, yeah, there you go. Nice country. Nice country out in the Green Acres. So, um, they're, they're the points I wanted to make. Maybe just a, a little bit on my metaphysics as a Christian Gnostic. Um, I self-describe as an agnostic Gnostic. Uh, I have two streams of thought. Um, one of, about my secular liberal upbringing in Canada, you know, so that's informed my decision, my, you know, my worldview. But I also, so that, that kind of makes me agnostic on what the gods are, right? Um, but I'm also Christian Gnostic. Uh, when it comes to the study of religion, because I believe that's hits the Christian Gnosticism hits the bullseye of, of the nature of reality closer than, than any other assertion about religion. Um, so that's why I'm a Christian Gnostic. I don't claim to have all the answers. Um, when it comes to to metaphysics, um, if somebody's going to make a claim from a revealed religion, they need to be able to back it up with some kind of uh, supernatural demonstration. And if you can't do that, then you're actually being dishonest by definition. You're just being a, ha a dishonest hack. And that's where these revealed religions are at today because nobody within them 
can demonstrate supernaturalism and supernaturalism is is just part and parcel of of the revealed religions they wouldn't exist without supernaturalism if they were true now of course they're not true they're they're fictions the crusa fiction um so okay well i'll leave it there um i just wanted i sometimes i just have to speak up and say something you know um www.andrewmartinmusic.com i'm out of here peace out